Hello and welcome to another video. Today is another video inside of my college dorm room, uh, but we are checking out the UNAS 2. This is Ubiquiti's new NAS solution and it comes with a free PoE++ injector um, as well as an Ethernet patch cable. And then we have the actual unit itself, which is quite large compared to what I expected. Um, but you'll see it does have the LCM screen on it, just like the UDR has. And it also has the USB-C port on the top of it. And that was actually upside down, but inside of the box, you'll see the USB-C port is actually at the bottom of the device. Lifting this out here, you will see um, just some paperwork and there's really nothing else in the device. I don't think this comes with a power cord or anything directly in the box uh, because the device is PoE powered, which is really cool because it makes me want to just put one of these in like an office or something and PoE power this from the switch. So we've got a nice unboxing experience on this device. And this is what it looks like. So very nice finish. It's really like a tall airport express or kind of like an airport extreme, but quite a bit bigger than that. Um, at the bottom of the device, you'll see we have our two and a half gig ethernet in. There's no pass through out port. Uh, there's a reset button. And then we have our area at the bottom for the hard drive to go in. So we can actually add two drives to this unit and they fit in there just like so. So you'll see the little SATA adapters down there. And then the device on the front, like I said, the USB-C port's there, the screen is there. And essentially, you pretty much just rest it on the desk just like that. I have no use for this here in college, but I do have use for this over at my uncle's house. And this is going to serve as a offsite backup server um, for a lot of my S3 stuff, for the S3 customers for the data center. Um, it's not ideal, um, but it is cheap and it is an easy way to have another backup um, destination. So I'll be using this for remote backups. Um, they'll be secured, encrypted, of course, all that kind of stuff. So um, even if somebody does have the device physically, it'll all be encrypted. And last time I went home, I grabbed the hard drive that I wanna use and put it inside this nice carrying case. So we will be putting an eight terabyte hard drive in here. It's a recertified drive. And just as a reminder for all of you watching from home, RAID is not a backup. This whole device is actually going to be a backup of other data. I'm not storing data on here that I want to, um, that I really need critically. This is essentially just going to be in the event that one of my servers gets exploded or stops, you know what I'm saying, it stops working, etc. This is just a last resort for that data. So on this, you can add a screw here on the side. So I'm assuming there's a screw in the box, but it pretty much snaps in here. You'll see there's a one and a two labeled on the side. So you know which drive is which in the software, um, but sliding this back in is really easy. Basically just drop this down and it slides and clicks and you'll hear a click and you'll feel a click as well. Um, and you'll see it goes into the lock position. Actually, you probably wanna do this to lock it. There's a little lock latch that actually locks it in place. So even if you release this, it does not come out. Here's what it looks like on the desk. It's very sturdy with one drive. So I assume that with two drives, it's gonna be even more stable on the desk and that's even sitting on a desk pad. So it's gonna be less uh, stable, but it really does look like a nice device. Included in the box is a shielded uh, ether lighting patch cord that is actually braided. So it seems to be a pretty upgraded cable, pretty nice cable. Um, and this is exactly what we'll be using. You'll see on the bottom of the device, there's a nice little cove where the cable can run through. Um, that way you're not pinching the cord when it's sitting on the desk. Okay, so we've got the PoE injector hooked up. This is the LAN port. That is the PoE port. I'm now going to wire this into my Flex Mini switch and wire the other end into my laptop. Looks like my college does have PoE enabled on that ethernet jack, which is really cool. So you'll see that the switch is powered up and it's powering or connecting my laptop to the network as well. This is an 802.1x network, which means it does require radius authentication, which I totally forgot about until just this moment. So, so I will not be able to actually use this for anything useful, but what I may be able to do is rig this with a Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm not condoning this, I'm not saying I'm going to by any stretch of the matter. But what I could theoretically do is plug in the ethernet from the campus on here and output it through like a USB to ethernet adapter to my network switch. And that would theoretically give me a private network which I could use through VPN back to the data center, back to my house, etc. You might see where I'm going with this. The nice thing too is the campus does give you a full one gig pipe to the internet. It's of course shared with other people, but on every speed test I've done, it is a full one gig connection. Um, they have a 10 gig peer with um, a nearby like state level um, internet exchange with a bunch of other colleges, which is really cool. So um, they probably do have a 100 gig connection to that. I believe it is 10 gig to the actual internet. Um, 
all kinds of cool stuff there, but um, that's out of topic for this video. Um, anyways though, so I do think I'm going to do my Raspberry Pi trick for now, at least to get this thing set up and adopted. Um, and then we'll go from there on the continuation of the setup of all of this. Um, the 802.1x is really annoying because it prevents things like this from connecting to the network because there's no way Ubiquiti has baked in the functionality to connect this to the network, to a 802.1x network, I should say. Um, but I should be able to do this with my Raspberry Pi. So I'll provide an update on that as soon as I have it. Okay, so I'm now shutting down the UNAS 2 because I purchased my second 14 terabyte drive, as you'll see here. Um, I decided to purchase both of them now. That way I don't have to deal with RAID configurations and stuff down the line. I did not want to spend another $200 on a drive, but I did anyways. And I think it'll be a lot better in the long run that I did it now versus waiting till later. So this is pretty easy to do. There is a screw for each drive that comes in the box. It's definitely a lot heavier with two drives in it. And now we plug it in and wait for it to boot up. This video is specifically focusing on the UNAS and there is a few things I do want to talk about with the UNAS that's really, really cool. First of all, this USB-C port is really cool because it allows you to add a USB SSD or something into the thing and you can actually access it from the UNAS website. You can share it. Um, it doesn't seem to share over SMB, um, but it is a nice way to share files and transfer and copy files from a USB drive to your UNAS. So let's say you go on a trip, you have an SD card, you can plug that in, presumably, to the UNAS, copy all your stuff to the UNAS, securely store it. That's really, really cool. One feature I do wish they'd add is kind of like what LumaForge does with some of their stuff. Um, LumaForge makes NASs that are like pretty high performance. I really wish Unify would allow you to use the, I really wish Unify would allow you to use the USB-C port to plug into a computer because then you could essentially plug that in like a USB drive, use that um, connected to the computer, or you could use it shared over the network. And just like that, the RAID array is built uh, just in a couple of seconds, everything is ready to go. Um, it is definitely buzzing a lot more now because two drives are spinning versus one. But now we have the protection of having two drives instead of just one drive. So um, now the nice thing is we have a three, two, one backup principle for a lot of my data. So we have three copies of the data, two of which are on two different storage mediums and one of which is offsite. So um, essentially, actually, we have two copies offsite because if you consider RAID to be a copy, which is debatable, but um, we do have two copies of the data on this specific UNAS because we have um, half, we have all the data on one drive and all the data on another drive. So we actually have two drives, although these are recertified drives. So I really would count this as one drive worth of uh, data um, recovery. Overall, this is a really solid unit. I'm really excited about this. I think it's gonna serve its purpose really well as a offsite backup. I really wish I had a PoE++ switch because I think if we had a plus plus PoE switch, we could literally PoE power this NAS, which is so cool. So. Um, eventually, I do want to try that. There are some PoE plus, plus switches I have access to, so I do want to try that. But um, as it is today, that's you, Naz. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. I will see you all in the next video.